Hello, now I've not turned into a fan, I'm just covering my face for a moment. Because there's something you need to know. Today, I look awful. Look at me, look at the hair, look at everything. I am a sweaty mess, and there's a reason I'm a sweaty mess. In fact, I could use this fan. Oh. No, there's a reason I'm a sweaty mess. That's because I uh, went to the Irani Shrine today, which has a big mountain next to it, and um, I did the climb, I did the uh, mountain walk. Now, the problem is, okay, I should stop that. The problem is, is that when I have long hair and it is so humid and I'm walking for an hour and a half, I get very sweaty, obviously. So, um, as soon as I finished the walk, it was just like a mess. And then I decided, because I needed to get new shampoo, I went off and had a walk and um, went to a shop and got some bits. Then I went to the station to come back here to um, come and do some work and stuff. Thing is though, um, I was walking across the tracks, I just missed a train, but I thought it was every 10 minutes. It's actually a 20 minute wait for some reason. Um, even though the one after it was going to be like 10 minutes later and then 10 minutes after that. For some reason this one had a 20 minute late. Wait, not late, wait. Okay, so um, I was sat down waiting because there's not really many people on there because one had just gone. Um, so I was reading on my phone, I was reading Twitter, then I was reading Reddit, just catching up on stuff because I hadn't really done much. And um, I did this for about five minutes and then something happened. So I was sat there like this, huddled over as I am, um, checking my phone like this, and then a hand came with like a ticket, and I know Japanese tickets sometimes you have really small ones, this was like a small ticket, and this, this hand with this ticket came into shot and tried caressing my hand. Now I'm from England, and if anyone comes whilst you're on your phone and tries to get your, their hand near your phone, then you withdraw and you look up and you go, what the fuck is going on? So I draw my phone, look up, and it's a lady, a Japanese lady, uh, probably about the same age as me in a um, face mask. Now obviously there's nothing weird about face masks, I've been in Japan long enough to know that they are a very common thing, and in fact, we should probably use them in England because it would mean there'd be less disease in the area probably. So I look up and um, she sort of like looks at me and like I can't see her mouth obviously but I can see her eyes and her eyes are like, you know when someone smiles you can see their eyes are like, yeah I could sort of see like she smiles and then she like walked down the platform a little bit so I was like, okay I'm gonna, maybe she was telling me that I'm not supposed to be using my phone. I looked to my right and there was a Japanese man using his phone, just like I was hunched over so I was like no that's obviously not it. So I sat there and I had about five minutes until the train and I decided to go for my wallet actually look at what change I had and that sort of thing just to like try and distract myself from looking over to her and going what the fuck just happened. So another minute goes and she walks back and she like crouches down and is like waving and then walks off again and I'm like what okay what's going on because the thing is like with Kyoto, Kyoto is full of tourists, especially white tourists, especially American tourists. It's just full of tourists. So it's not like I'm a rare breed in Kyoto. In fact, there was about four other white males from, you know, foreign lands um, on the platform. By this point, I'm getting looks. I'm getting looks from these other white guys to say, are oh, you lucky bastard? I'm getting looks from Japanese people looking towards her going, this is a bit odd. Now, if the Japanese people are thinking that what she's doing is pretty odd, then it was probably pretty bloody odd. So the bridge goes down, so cars can't come across the track, so I know the, car, the uh, train's coming. So I walk the other way than where she sat. And um, I walk and wait at the space where the doors will be. And lo and behold, about 30 seconds later, she walks up behind me. And so the train comes, I get on the train, and because it's only two stops, I've got my massive, massive backpack. I just decided to stand. She sits. She then beckons me to sit down next to her. And the thing is like, no, I've got this massive backpack. There's, there's like a space that tiny. There wasn't enough space for me to sit my ass down in this train. So I, I'm just like, I, just, I smile and go, yeah, I hear you. And just, you know, just be polite and be like, no. Because yeah, I'm not going to stand there and go, no, you fucking mental. I'm just like, no, 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 no. So um, I don't look, I don't dare look to my right at any point during this five minute train journey because I'm sure that eyes would lock. 
So as soon as we get to Kyoto, which is where the train stops anyway, I go to the next doors. And I'm not embarrassed to say that I get to the next door, rush out of those doors, run down the stairs, run over to the subway transfer, go into the subway, and walk very far down the platform and wait for my subway train. Now I'm sure if any guys are watching this video, then they're probably going, Oh mate, you should have gone with her! No. It was bloody weird. Even if I was single, and I'm very much not single, it would have freaked me the hell out. Because it's the fact that nothing was said. She said nothing in English. She said nothing in Japanese. She tried touching me as an introduction. They are not a good mix. Have you seen the film Audition? I have. That could have been me. So there's only a few explanations as what actually happened. She either liked the look of me because I was the younger of the white people who were sat there. She liked the look of Pac-Man because, you know, Pac-Man. Or she just wanted to have a touch of my hand. Either way, I am sufficiently creeped out. The shrine itself is lovely, walking up the mountain was great, but it's the fact that this per like the it's the way she waved, it was like, oh hey, as if I knew her. I know, like, the only people I know in Japan I can count on one hand, and only one of those people is Japanese. And that Japanese person can speak fluent English, so it's not like they would just wave and expect me to know who they are. They would say hello. So my advice to you, sing if you're single and coming to Kyoto, is go walk up a mountain, get sweaty as fuck, stink like shit, and then maybe some lady will come and try and touch you. I'm here for another couple of days and then I am back to Tokyo and that is my last leg of the trip. Um, a couple of weeks in Tokyo and that's it. I'll be back to England, back to where I wouldn't really stand on a train platform with my phone out because of criminals.